That's right. It's about that time of year. Halloween. <laughs> That's all I got. But I lied. I got something else. Something perfect for this spooky holiday. What is it? Alec Bradley's Filthy Ghoul Again, spelled hooligan with a G in front of it, Black Market Barber Pole. Now, we all know that Black Market, um, Alec Bradley, Shamrock, and everything else, the great St. Patty's Day cigars. I mean, it's a great cigar all the time, but you know it's themed for St. Patrick's Day. Well, they have extended that theme to Halloween with this heifer right here here now it's a six by 50 toro limited time the reason i'm doing this video right now is so that you'll have time to order them and get them and smoke them and put them in your pictures on facebook instagram and the socials and everything else because if you didn't do that did it really happen spoiler it did but nobody gets to see it and who doesn't like putting up pretty pictures with lots of thumbs up and all that i mean we're all thirsty <laughs> i tell you what this under lighting really makes me look old. But that's okay. This wrapper is two wrappers. It's a barber pole, right? You can see it. The Ecuadorian Habano. And then that broad leaf. The binder is an Indonesian Besuki. I love the word Besuki. And it fits with Halloween with the Besuki. And the fillers are... Nicaraguan, Condega, Esteli, and Jalapa with some Dominican Piloto. But, all right. I got to cut it with my coffin-ish shaped cutter. That's Zycar cutter. I'm going to do a guillotine. Man, it's hard to do in the dark. Let me get a cut on this. Good draw. All right. Good draw. Cut good enough. Cut wonky. But, you know. Went in the dark. Let me light her up. Look at that. I turned the flame up just a little bit so it looked a little bit more impressive in the in the video, right? I thought about doing the video pretty much in pitch black dark because that's my best look anyway. Maybe backlit with a shadow kind of thing going on. And you can see the cigar burning in the front. But I was like, eh, that's going to be hard to read the notes. And, you know, that would be bad. So... Uh, now, I know you're wondering, Bob, what did you dress up as today since it's a Halloween cigar? Well, I dressed up as... Bob. Uh, not a very impressive costume. Um, all right. That's a cool picture. Let me turn that banner on one time. Let me do it one more time. Just, just for me. It's kind of cool. Ooh, that's bad. Got me spitting just a little bit. All right. Oh. Mmm. Got the little ghosties on there, right? I got I got a Halloween joke for you. I got two. the first one they're both around fifth grade to eighth grade level so and they're not the most polite company kind of jokes so if you are of the fair or if you are a little sensitive fast forward a couple minutes i don't blame you anyway First one, everybody knows it. What did the bee say to the ghost? Or what did the ghost say to the bee? I about messed up my own dang joke. What did the ghost say to the bee? <laughs> okay, I'm telling you. You know it. You've already said it. Booby, right? <laughs> hmm. Bob, that's not nice. All right. Here's the other one. This one's even worse. This is the one you're going to tell at work. 
make sure you're appropriate because if you get an HR violation, it is not my fault. Man, this is good. Man, I'm so glad it's not just the band and the story, the pictures. Like the Shamrock and, 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 and the Filthy Hooligan, I would, I would smoke those not St. Patrick's Day because I actually like them, and I'm not a Candela guy, but I really actually like the blend on that. And this has a, a fullness to it, a substantiability. Back to the joke. How come witches... Don't tell First Lady. How come witches don't have babies? It's a bad joke. Go ahead and fast forward right now. Because it's not... It's not a friendly joke. How come witches don't have babies? Well, it's because their husbands have Halloweenies. <laughs> I know. That's my only dirty joke. And <laughs> I love that joke. I do. I tell my family that joke every year, and they all roll their eyes, but I do. I love that joke. And I shouldn't, because it's not a good joke. It's an inappropriate joke, but it's it's just, it tickles me. I'm sorry. <laughs> a little spicy. Not too spicy. Little minerality. A little bit of turned earth. Like a freshly dug grave. <laughs> Sorry. Too much? Maybe. God, look at the bags up under my eyes. This is not a flattering light. Of course, any light on me is not that flattering. It's okay, though. I got a face radio. Leathers. Not Texas Chainsaw Massacre leather face leathers, but leathers. Black pepper. And maybe a hint. All right, so here's the hard point. It's a leaf from a tobacco plant. Nothing else. And so you want to ascribe flavors. And tobacco is amazing how you can pull so many different flavors from tobacco. The way you grow it, the way you harvest it, the way you age it. But trying to put it in food pictures sometimes is not perfect, right? It's not exact it's kind of ish sometimes it's the smell the flavor that you're describing is actually what you smell like cedars i don't taste cedar on a regular basis but something has that cedar smell as a flavor i call it cedars and most better reviewers do much better than me but this one has a flavor that dances between two flavors but not either weird right raisins and figs like no yeah. maybe the figgy whatever component in um What's that cake everybody gets at Christmas that nobody likes? Not pound cake. Not candy cake. What what kind of what fruit cake? Kinda of like that. Not all the sweetness, but the, the in between, the, the gooey gummy stuff. That's in there. But what I do know is that it's got a crazy balance to it. Delicious. 
So I would not smoke this with candy corn, but I would smoke this on Halloween and post lots of pictures. If you do, post some pictures and tag me because I would love to see your pictures. Tell me what you think about it, and I'll see you later. Not scary. Delicious. Later, Tater. Bye-bye.